Hello everyone. In this particular video, we will talk about what are the various parts of SAP graphical user interface or what are the various elements of graphical user interface. Now, before we start with the topic, do not confuse this topic with the previous topic. In the previous topic, we covered uh, what are the various types of SAP GUI. We covered, we have three types of SAP GUI, SAP GUI for Windows, SAP GUI for Java, SAP GUI for HTML. SAP GUI for Windows is dedicated for Windows operating system. SAP GUI for Java is platform independent. And SAP GUI for HTML, in that case, we'll go for web browser. Please do not confuse that topic with this topic. Now, before we come on to the topic, we'll go for simple understanding. Suppose I double clicked on to the server. Now, this screen appeared. I am passing the username and password. How? How I am passing the username and password? Through graphical user interface only. A user, a user is interacting through what? Graphical user interface only. Now the topic is you put username and password. So this is which part of graphical user interface? Suppose I'm clicking on to these buttons. So I'm clicking on to these buttons. Yes, through graphical user interface. But this is which part of GUI? Suppose I'm clicking on to this button. Yes. So this is which part of graphical user interface? This is our topic. So whenever you have a particular screen, particular screen, what are the various parts of SAP GUI on that particular screen? This is our topic. So we will go for this topic important topic and in the future whenever coding will be there this topic will play a vital role will go for so many things with the help of that suppose i will just log in into the sap system and we will understand what are the various parts of gui state what are the various parts of gui or what are the various elements of gui now, this screen, you can simply, simply compare it to this screen. Both are same. Now, we will go for all these parts one by one. The first part is menu bar. This, this is called as menu bar. Menu, edit, favorites, extras, system, help. This is called as menu bar, menu bar. You can see it's clearly saying this is called as menu bar. Now, these buttons, these, this, 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 these, all these buttons are called as standard toolbar. And it is also called as function keys. You can simply see these buttons are called as standard toolbar. And many times people will tell this as function keys. Now, after that, here, 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 if you remember in the previous video, we put some transaction code here. So here, where you will put the transaction code, anyways, that topic has not covered. You will learn in the future what is transaction code. So this, this area, this area is called as command bar. This is called as command bar. Now, after that, are you able to see the title? This is saying SAP easy access where this title is appearing. It is called as title bar, title bar. Now, after that, these buttons, these buttons, these buttons are the part of application toolbar. Now, after that, whatever is here, whatever is here, you are able to see favorites, user menu, 
all this is called as screen area you can see this whole is your screen area screen area and at the last at the last we have this is the status bar status bar you can see this is the status bar so what are the various parts of sap gui or what are the various elements of sap gui anyways we'll go into detail what is the meaning of each and every part just see firstly these all buttons are the menu bar menu bar this is your standard toolbar this is your command bar this is your title bar because it is appearing like a title title this is your application toolbar this whole is your screen area screen area and at the last we have the status bar status bar we'll go for detail of each and everything as this topic is very very important so firstly we will start with menu bar we will start with menu bar so what is menu bar what is menu bar menu bar appears on top of every sap screen is it appearing on the top yes it is appearing on the top of every screen yes now menu bar changes from screen to screen suppose simple example this is one screen of sap suppose as of now i will show you another screen of sap but do not confuse yourself in the future you will automatically understand how you can go suppose i am showing you another screen of sap you can see this is another screen of sap is the menu bar of this screen is same as that of this screen no so menu bar changes from screen to screen but one point it is clearly saying system and help are always available on every screen just see do you have system and help available here yes do you have system and help available here yes other menu items other menu items might change but system and help are those which are always always available on every screen as a part of menu bar so what we studied about menu bar it is always always at the top yes menu bar changes from screen to screen yes because every application has different different purpose but system and help are always always two menus are always always available now now we will go for next part of the sap gui or next element of sap gui next is our standard toolbar next is our standard toolbar you can simply see this is our standard toolbar where we have this log off button find button all these things are there this is your standard toolbar so what is standard toolbar it is located below the menu bar yes it is below the menu bar yes it is below the menu bar now what is the second point standard toolbar are also called as function keys so if someone asks you the function keys or someone ask you the title or someone ask you the function keys or someone ask you the standard toolbar one and the same thing it is located below the menu bar now we will come on to third point third part of your sap gui is command bar command bar this is your command bar command bar this one what is the purpose of command bar the purpose of command bar is to put the transaction codes anyways in the future you will learn what transaction code is but if you want to put the transaction codes we will put into command bar so this is the command bar suppose i am putting sc24 
So you can see I moved on to class builder. Do not confuse at this point of time. Just understand you will put the transaction code through command bar. So the purpose of command bar is to enter the transaction codes. Now the second point, command bar. This command bar can be opened or closed with this button. You can see if I click on to this button, command bar closed. If I again click on to this button, command bar open. And what is written here? It is written the same to same thing. Command bar can be opened or closed by using the icon on the right of the command bar. We use the icon which is on the right of the command bar, right of the command bar. So this is your, this is what we discussed. Command bar is used to put the transaction codes and you can close or open the command bar by using that particular button which is on the right of the command bar. Now we will go for fourth part of SAP GUI. The fourth part of SAP GUI is title bar. Word itself is saying it is a title. It is a title of the application. Suppose simple. This is your screen, but the title is SAP easy access now you can see the title of this screen this is a bad dictionary just see when you logged in first when you logged in first what is the title sap there so title it is a type specific title of that application specific title of that screen so what is title bar in between the standard toolbar and the application toolbar, we have the title bar. This is your, this is your, this is your standard toolbar. And this is your application toolbar. In between this, we have the title bar. We have the title bar. Now, title bar is used to display the name of the screen or the application you are accessing. Yes. So title always, always displaying the name of the screen or application. Suppose this is SAP easy access screen. So title is SAP easy access. This is your a bad dictionary screen. So title is a bad dictionary. Now the third point is title bar is dynamic and changes from application to application. Yes. Title bar is dynamic and changes from application to application. See, for this application, title is SAP Easy Access. For this particular application, title is a BAP dictionary. So title always, always changes from application to application. Now, what we studied in this particular video up to this level, we are covering the topic what are the various parts of SAP GUI or what are the various elements of SAP GUI. And in this video, we cover four parts of SAP GUI. First one, we cover what is menu bar. Then we cover what is standard toolbar. We cover what is command bar. And then we cover what is title bar. In the next video, we will cover the rest of the part of the uh, rest. We will cover rest elements of SAP GUI. That's it in this video.